morning. It's nice in that sun, but it's a bit breezy and a bit cold elsewhere. The mob grazers are still in here, but they're getting down this grass now, so I think we're gonna have to get them out. M's here today, Andy's here today. Job's gonna be good. Morning, guys. Oh, we, can't, we can't see Andy's t shirt yet. Disappointment from everyone, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Andy's gonna get on the um, straw boy. I'm gonna get on the JCB, we're gonna start feeding him out. Out and about feeding on the TM. It's looking nice, that sky, isn't it? <laughs> Half left. Alright. Morning. Morning. Yeah? Yeah. Good? Right. Yeah? Half left. Half left? <laughs> oh, what's that on about? Did you learn it at college? What's printing paper? Printing paper? Well, IT skills are essential in farming. Keeping I your think, records. I think there's a printer. <laughs> I know, punch the paper. Oh, no. Right, let's feed some cows. Feed some cows. I think M's too cool for school. Andy just putting those bales in there. Um, she was writing essays all day. Too cool to say that. So hopefully she was learning something there. Uh, I'm sure she was. You having fun, Andy? Yeah, good. <laughs> Pick up with one hand. <laughs> yeah. I tell you what we ought to do. We ought to do a race, didn't we? Put one of them. Put one of them bottom bales, and like we'll have two of them. And then get M to race us flipping them up, flipping them over up the yard. Yeah, give her the big bale. <laughs> I'm just popping pipes on for me. I've got two of those round bales in the spreader bale, so we'll see how they go. It's like they're not even there. What happened? The bale though, the second bale has now turned itself around the other way. And the spreader bale does not like trying to put it through sideways. It wants to be like unrolling it really. It'll do it though, it'll do it. Come on, come on, I'll show you now. Bale's about there, it'll stop, it'll stop it in a second. Bushka, wow. It's just because it's not the, the way that it's been rolled up. Very difficult to do. Well, it'll get through it. So I ended up tipping it out and, uh, well, the cows are having fun with it anyway. See, you wouldn't want a cow to turn around and decide it didn't like it, would you? Andy, do you want me to set you any bales out? Oh, good, oh you got it? Yeah, You're strong, aren't you? Have you, got, have you got a strong t-shirt on today? Oh! Oh, what's them doing here? <laughs> it's coffee time. Yeah, and I have went some. to the trucker cafe again last night. Is that like your local now? Mm. There's a bit of a track like, but yeah. <laughs> so, what did you have? Gammon. Oh! A bit more sausage and mash, it was gammon. What, what sausage and mash off the menu? No, and then when Fancy I had it, I thought, I thought sausage and mash would have been better. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I had a pizza last night. What did you have? Did you have your takeaway, Andy? Your takeaway sweeties? Nah, toad in the hole. Toad in the hole. Oh, so you were on sausages yeah. then? Yeah. I had pepperoni on my pizza. Does that, does that count for sausages? If you want. <laughs> I'm not a fan of pepperoni. You're not? No. Nah. Do you like pepperoni? It's alright. I'm not a big fan of pizza. You're not? No. It's, it's alright, like, it's, it's eatable, but I'm not sure if I have a pizza. Would you choose to have a pizza? Yeah. Yeah. Pizza's nice. Easy as well when it's frozen out of the freezer and you just bang it in the oven for 30 minutes. Fish bash bosh done. Fish bash bosh. <laughs> I actually had a pizza over there. Mm. So we're just vaccinating some. Number 54 on this one. So they walk into the crush. I try and trap the head. Come on, boy. Come on, a bit more. I trap the head, squeeze them, calm them down. I'm going to vaccinate worm and fruit. 
What, go on now. Uh, so do you know what it is? A brim full of Asher. Do you know what number cow will be? If we say a brim full of Asher. Yeah, you didn't know though, did you? Kids don't know nothing these days, do they, Andy? Uh, I have to play it, yeah, it's a good song. Well, I've now got brim full of Asher stuck in my head, thanks to Andy. Um, thanks a lot, Andy. <laughs> Squeezing them, plucking them, worming them. Vaccine, that's Andy with the vaccine there. So I'll square it up the nose, job done. 25, 85. I just made a pat lunch for myself. I'm going off in the lorry to hopefully get some cattle. I'm going a long way in the lorry, hence taking my lunch. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, doing all this today so that hopefully tomorrow we can go to the beef expo at um, Darlington Market. Otherwise, I would have had to do this tomorrow. My trusty phone mount. Oh, it's not very focused, is it? Just got my trusty phone mount and charger. Can't be without these. And uh, I'll get set off. Ready to go. Gonna be a couple hour drive, I think, somewhere. No, it's probably not gonna be that. Probably an hour and a half. Yeah. Yeah, hour and a half. As long as we're not in traffic. So can anybody guess where I am? I know I'm a long way from home when you can see the Heights of Abraham, Tramways Museum, Derbyshire Dales and Gulliver's Kingdom. And also a few signs for uh, Almond Towers as well. Yeah, pass it. Check that out for a view. I have never come this way before. Sat nav just took me a weird way. But yeah, what a view from up here. Crazy. Grassland, grassland, grassland. Well, somebody's doing some silage here. On a McCormick, a little McCormick. Weapon tractor. Uh, it gets fairly tight when you get down here. So I'll just letting him come up the hill. See as he had a full load on. I know what it's like I'm to start and stop on a tractor. No good. Just thought I'd record this bit because this is start getting interesting down here. Some fairly tight air pins to go around for the big lorry. You know about it when you're full and you're coming back up the other way. South Yorkshire. There's a pond on our left now. Look at that. Beautiful. Well, I'm at the farm now, but um, that silage trailer, um, somebody was pulling um, a, a chopper behind the tractor, and then behind their chopper was a trailer. And that's how they were doing it and they're dropping the trailers and then um, the guy on the road is just ferrying the trailers back and forth quite a good way really some sheep about And then um, 
there's a chopper behind a trailer at the back of the field there. Interesting combination. It pulls that along on the back of the chopper. Away he goes. But um, I guess the man with his other trailer will be coming up this road and it's very tight, so I thought I'd just uh, park up here for a second. And just wait for him to uh, to come up there because I do not want to meet him coming up there. Aye, it's some combo, is that? Way to get it done. It's nearly full. Yeah, it's nice to see people using kit like that, a bit different, something a bit, yeah, rather than a massive forager does it like that, probably got the time to do it, gets the job done doesn't it? Check these out for tractors, Deutsch. Well we've got some silaging going off here, fancy fed to the old and new Holland. 716 I think it was fed. 718, sorry, 718. Must be getting ready because there's no forage in there or anything. So when we'll pass that on the road, I don't know. We are passing it. Just on the left hand side. A class forager, another fent there as well. Just going out of shot. And as we come a bit further down the road, coming the other way, we've got a trailer full of grass. Grass silly season, back of a John Deere. Must have been towing a bit, must be heavy stuff. Finally, I'm back in the yard. You got Em and Andy blocking my way with the JCBs. I think they're sorting that job out for me. Em's just shifted that trailer with the uh, 9 meter, which I was surprised. I wouldn't think it had uh, picked it up. But it has done. Andy will get it on now, I think. My dad's feeding round with a TM. Things getting put away now. M's just on the nine meter. Getting that tucked away. Evening. This Andy's just been telling me. You've been driving what? 250R. 6250R? Yeah. What with a with a chrome stack? Chrome stack, yeah. Did you feel did you feel bling bling? I did, and the weight block on the front. The weight block on the front? Yeah. Wow, nice. What were you doing just shifting it right yard? Drove, I drove up to the team. <laughs> nice. Have you had an enjoyable day, Emily? Yes. Without me? Good. Um, we're just arranging now um, the morning, so we reckon it's gonna be an early morning tomorrow. We're gonna go to the beef expo at Darlington Market. So um, if anybody's going there, we'll see you there. Um, yeah, can you get up early in the morning? Yeah, yeah. yeah good. I'll be uh, on the dock. Well, yeah. Yeah. Are you going pedal power? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows what might happen? Um, so yeah, we'll be there. If you've liked today's video and that side, I'm not sure you the silage machine yet. I'll show you in a minute. Okay. The silage machine that I saw and um, my little trip into um, where have I been? Staffordshire. Countryside. Yeah, the Great British countryside the greenery and all that business, then please press like and subscribe and comment and go over to joeseals.com and have a look at my hats and stuff because um, the things, the deal's still on. You get some free stickers before the 2nd of June. Business. Right, bye guys. See you tomorrow. It's going to be fun, fun, fun tomorrow full of cows and cow machinery for yeah. beef cows. business. Bye. The is, is driving the 250R now. <laughs> It wasn't at the correct setting for Andy's uh, requirements. Oh, the seat was up there. <laughs> <laughs> you think he'd be right down there? He's only like four foot tall, isn't he? He's like... <laughs> Hi, Don. Hi, Don. Hi, Don. <laughs> Have you grown? Oh, God. <laughs> uh, he's definitely going to watch this, you know. Oh, no. The hooligans here.
Beef Expo tomorrow. Yeah. Why? Because I'm working. Someone working. has to work. Says that one's low. Doesn't look very low, does it? See, it's just a Land Rover, mate. It's probably a, a faulty sensor saying that your tyres are low. Yeah, right, go on then, Em, tell us. Right, you've got your 20 pence, yeah? Yeah. You see this edge? Yeah. You put this in your thread? Yeah. And if you can see that edge, if you can see that, your tyre's fairly. If yeah. you can't, it's alright. Yeah. But you so, were looking at it from up here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so she's like, this has failed, this is failing. And then we're like, look, level. And look, like, you can't see it. So we, it's a good trick though, that, Em. I don't like it. I like that. Yeah, you just need to look at it level. <laughs> Oh, you look for these markers here, right? So he's got like, it probably will fail this anyway because it's got like worn on this side. But um, you run your you run your finger through the, on that bit, yeah. a bit further down. Feel that marker, yeah. and that'll tell you if, you, if that's level, yeah. then, it's then it's definitely failed. You know? But I reckon it should fail just because it's our bend. So. Well, Em's getting like... dripped on by the molasses. <laughs> I'm not going to wear All right, Em's well, um, <clears throat> just discussing what we're going to wear tomorrow. It's very degrees. important, supposedly. Yeah, 15 degrees for a shirt and jacket, like Shirt and jacket. A, jump, a jumper, a jumper thing. Yeah. Do you think you'd need a baseball? Yeah, it says Joe Seals. I can tell I've had my cap on today. Mine's in my bag. Might need it to keep the spot warm. <laughs> uh, bye, guys! Goodbye.